bold new way to get rid of mosquitoes. It worked in the Inland Empire, and now it's coming to L.A. and Orange counties. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock has more tonight on this expanding program. We've had a lot of late season rain this year, and that means we could be in for a bad mosquito season as well. But for all of you out there who dread the arrival of those ankle biters, there may soon be less of them. Releasing more mosquitoes into a mosquito infested neighborhood. It might seem counterproductive, but it's apparently reducing the mosquito population in the Inland Empire because these young male mosquitoes are sterilized in this machine before they fly away looking for ladies. It's like using your microwave. Sounds like good science to me. Patrick Mallon lives in Upland, one of the cities where the x-ray sterilized ankle biters were recently released. Spraying, you know, caustic chemicals and pesticides, that's not going to cut it, you know, because they just build up an immunity to that. But they don't have any offspring, and you don't have to worry about getting rid of them. West Valley Mosquito and Vector Control is the first district in California to incorporate the technique into its mosquito management plan. They say it's been so successful, they're planning more releases in the Inland Empire. Female mosquitoes will only mate once in their lifetime, so any sperm that they receive from the sterilized males uh, will sterilize the eggs and they won't hatch. And now other vector control districts in LA and Orange counties are running similar pilot programs, soon releasing sterilized mosquitoes into Hunga Sunlin and Mission Viejo to start. It's touted as an environmentally friendly way to reduce mosquitoes and prevent the spread of disease. But Malin says he just turns over pots after it rains to get rid of standing water in his garden, and he doesn't end up with mosquito bites. No, because I learned to keep covered. And if you live in one of the neighborhoods where these mosquitoes are being released, you should be seeing more of them at first, but we're told many of those will be the males, and apparently those ones don't bite. Reporting in Upland, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News.